Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can create a video from multiple images and also how you can add audio. So in the previous video, I will show you how you can create a video from a single image. And in this video, I will show you how you can create a video from multiple images. And inshallah, in the next video, I will show you how you can create a video from a image which user selects from the gallery. So you will see I have these four images and I have downloaded these images. And you will see the name of these images are in sequence like 001, 002. 3 and 4 okay so if you have more images like 20 40 100 and more and the sequence of that images are like these means they are following three in, uh, digits then this code take the all images automatically like if you have more images and their name are 0, 0, 008, 0, 0, 009, 0, 0, 010, 11, 12 means the images name are containing three digits. Then this code automatically take all that images. Okay. So <clears throat> first of all, you have to know what is the path of these images. You will see these images are stored inside the phone. And download folders. So the path of these download folder is this, which is storage emulated zero downloads. Okay, so this is the path of download folder, and I store this inside this base path. And after that, you will see I save the path of audio and where I my audio is stored you will see I write base path which means that I store the audio inside this download folder so my all the images are present inside this download folder also my audio and also I want to store the output inside this download folder so that's why I first store the path of download folder inside this base path and then I concatenate this base path with my audio and if I show you my audio and you will see here is the audio okay so this audio is coming from this download folder so now you will see I pass this image inside this image variable but I have to remove this because we have a lot of images not one so that I don't use this image path because inside this image path we have only one image but we have lot of images inside our download folders okay so after that you will see i store this output 00.mp4 inside this output path because i want to store the video inside this download folder and i want to give this name to my video basically this is the name of your video which you generated you can change and you can give any name to this you can write here my video okay but basically this is the name of your video which you generated okay and we store that video inside this download folders so now we have this if conditions to check if the user give the permission of storage or not so if user give the permission allow us to read the data and write the data inside the download folder then this code is run otherwise we open the app settings okay so here you will see we have a command we store the command inside this 
variable which is command to execute and then pass this command to this fmm pack kit execute okay this is the package which is fmm pack kit but it is very very similar to fm fmm pack okay so there is nothing difference between the command of fmm pack and fmm pack kit okay you can use this command to fm mpeg also and now you will see here is the command and this is the frame rate which is the speed of the images and if your frame rate is more, uh, 24 the video speed is very fast basically it is the speed of the uh, video so for this time i remove this audio i show you the video without audio so i remove this audio from here and this is the size of your video and this is the image so you will see we have these images and i want to make a video of these four images so you have to pass path of download folder which is stored inside this base path and then you have to write plus for concatenation and then you have to pass your image name so you will see we have the name of image and inside this name we have three digits so you have to write three First of all, you have to write this sign, and after that, you have three digits. Then you have to pass three D and dot. After that, you have to pass the extension of this image, and you will see we have JPEG extension. So you have to write JPEG. Then we give the size of video, and after that, we make a video of these images and put inside this output path which is my video.mp4 okay so now just run this code okay the, uh, so the code is running and you will see here click on video maker and now you will see when i click on this button so when i click on this button you will see We have to put some message here. So, if the code is running successfully, you will uh, write video created and if we have some error, you have to write error here. Or you have to write cancel here. Now just again restart this app and so that you will see the message. Open the run. So click on this and you will see it gives a message which is completed completed create so now just open the download folder and you will see your video is created and you will see it's showing all that four images 
because it is a regular expression which shows that uh, it takes all the images with three digits okay that's why it take all images and it is a regular expression you pass here now if you want to put the audio you simply write input and audio and then run the app and you will see now in this time it creates a video on the same name because we don't change the name so it overrides on this video okay once again run this app and you will see it overrides this video and now it apply the audio here and you will see it is 10 second because because the size of audio is 10 seconds that's why it create the video of 10 seconds Okay, so in the next video, I will show you how you can pass a variable and if you want to get the image from the user and then how you can pass that image to this um, command uh, and also you can use these commands in Python, in Android Studio, in Flutter. Basically, these all commands are very similar in all languages okay so in the next video i will tell you how you can pass a image which user selected from the gallery and i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends allah Hafiz.